it's got a few new features as well. What you'll find with Outlook is that the ribbon is now standard across all parts of it because in 2007 you only had the ribbon when you went for example into a new mail message or you went to read a mail message. So the ribbon is now standard across all parts. If I go into file you have the backstage view and the backstage view is um, where you can do things like your account settings so you can go and add additional accounts and you can manage your rules and your alerts from here as well. Now you can do that in other parts of the application uh, but it's just a quick convenient way to go and do it in there. On the calendar if I go to my calendar I think I'll maximize this as well on my calendar I've got um, some new views. You've got schedule view. First of all I'm just going to go to day view so you know that is pretty standard day view, work week view which you had before, week view, month view I'll come back to. You've now got um, the today, the today's on here which I think is a much better place to have it with everything uh, all in one and you've also got next seven days so I can actually go and look at the next seven days. Let's move away from today, click on today and it actually takes me to today and next seven days. It's a good way of seeing your appointments for the next seven days. Under months you've now got three new options. Show low detail which shows the all day events in month view. So anything that is an all day event like I mark leave as all day then it shows only those only all day events. Medium detail will show all day events and free busy information. So here we can see where we are busy but we can't see the details. And show high detail that is what is your typical um, calendar view that shows you everything. You also have this schedule view. With a schedule view can't show you here because I'm not connected to an exchange server and I haven't got multiple calendars uh, but it is an easier way of being able to um, show multiple calendars and uh, schedule uh, meetings and events because it will actually show them horizontally one on top of each other rather than vertically and a nice feature they've added here just by right clicking anywhere on the scale is the ability to change the time scale. So I can have it displaying every 10 minutes so I can have it displaying in hours or whatever. Change the intervals. So that's the calendar. If I go to mail we've got a new few new features in mail as well. For example we've got a meeting button. So let's imagine that we've got a thread going or we've, uh, it might not be a full thread it might just be a couple of emails and you're reading an email and it becomes apparent that you need to set up a meeting um, to discuss this further. Now under the old version what you'd have to do is you'd have to go to new, you'd have to choose meeting, you'd have to go and type in the, the uh, who you're sending the meeting request to and so on and so forth. Now all I need to do is click on meeting and what it does is it fills in automatically into the to field the name or names of anybody who was in the to or cc part of that email. Obviously this is just a test account so it's it's just got that in it. I could go and add additional names in there as well. It gives it a subject and then all you have to do is fill in the rest of the information. And the other great thing is it's actually got the whole thread of the email message in it for future reference. So you don't need to copy and paste the email in there either. Okay, you've also got an ignore button over here. So let's imagine that uh, people keep sending you emails where the subject is joke of the day. What you can do is you can click ignore on that message and any message that contains the subject joke of the day will automatically be moved to the uh, deleted items folder. So it's not done on a person level, it's done on a, a subject level. 
reply and delete we were talking earlier about some of the productivity boosters and reply and delete it might not seem much but what you can do is you can click on reply you can send the message and um, I'll actually try sending it should send it and then it deletes it automatically sends it to the uh, the deleted items folder so it is saving you a couple of steps and the big new feature is something called quick steps now you have uh, a default um, entry called to manager so what it means is if I click on to manager then it will automatically send an email to whoever I have defined as my manager. What I'll do here is I'll right click, I will um, edit to manager and what I'll do is put in there um, Elaine at nwit.org.uk click on save and when I click to manager it automatically fills that in for me bit of a time saver you can actually define your own quick steps and if this will close I can show you how to do it there we go you need to click on create new inside the quick steps click on create new and I'm going to give it a name, so I'm going to call it um, Elaine. Just pretend that Elaine wasn't under to manager. I now need to choose an action. So what I want to do is create a new message. I'll actually change this to be Elaine new because I could actually have multiple ones. Elaine new, Elaine forward, so on. The action is to create a new message to Elaine at nwit.org.uk. Now, if I wanted to add another action, I can just click on add action. So you can have as many actions as you like. It's like a macro. Well, it is a macro without the programming. You can even choose a shortcut key to run it, but I won't do that. I'll just click on finish. And now all I need to do is click on Elaine new and it creates a new email address to her.